What's up, everybody? Dustin Laguerre here, and I am here with Justin Davis. Justin, how are you today? I am doing very well. Yourself? Good. I'm doing very well. On this wonderful Thursday morning. Yeah, Thursday. Jeez, I am tired today. Uh huh. Well, but anyway, today <laughs> we're playing some Minecraft. We are. Yeah. So this is intended to be, well, Destin, maybe you can tell me, but, um, you know, don't be afraid if you're a Minecraft noob. Mm -hmm. You know, we know you're out there. You know, not everybody, we see people build these huge cathedrals. Yeah. But it's fine if you're still just building a shack yeah. in the woods and don't know what you're doing. And we're starting out really, really simple. We're just going to show you how to do the basics, how to survive that first day. And we will be playing survival. Mm -hmm. And, um, so yeah. So that is so survival mode. When most people think about Minecraft, um, you know that's what they're talking about. That's the one with the monsters and the day and night, and you need to do yeah. need to do all the crafting. But if you also just want to build stuff, you could do creative mode. But survival mode is much more, you know, video gamey. Mm -hmm. So let's hop right into it by going to uh, single player here, and uh, I was created a world just to uh, to try and remember how to play this game because it's been a while. It and has. Yeah, we know the game's been out a while, and uh, I've played it a lot. You've played it a lot. But uh, we kind of wanted to hop in and just go over the basics because, like, half a million people bought this over Christmas. It's true. Punching so, trees, digging yeah. dirt. We're just going to show you. So don't <laughs> – that's the thing. You don't need to feel shame if, you know, your friends are building crazy, huge, elaborate things with pistons and, you know, these sort of mob farms, and then you don't really know what you're doing. So the first thing you do, you create your world. There's nothing a really A whole to new it. world. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> All right. So let's hop right into it. So you create it, and it's randomly generated. That's true. What people don't realize about Dustin is he's been slip slipping Aladdin references into every video he's ever done <laughs> for yeah. IGN for a year now. <laughs> Go back. There's Easter eggs everywhere. <laughs> That's not actually true. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. The world's generated, and it looks fairly snowy. Yeah, and so that's and it. And I'm stuck in something. Oh, well, we're off to a great start. That ah, happens once in a while. You just kind of dig your way out. So, uh, you know, when you first play Minecraft, you don't know... Ah, what's happening? Yeah, we're getting... This is actually a little, a little bit jankier than it usually is. Yeah. So, I updated this. Come on. Stop it. Yeah, you got to punch, punch that piece of dirt. I think that's the one you're stuck in. Okay. Yeah, get out of here, okay. piece of dirt. So, obviously that doesn't normally happen, but it's yeah. exciting. It's always exciting to roll a new world in Minecraft because you don't know what you're going to get. You know, you could be in the jungle. You could be in, you know, we're obviously in like a snowy area. Um, mm -hmm. And you never know what you're going to see and what you're going to do. So, what I'm doing immediately is I'm digging up all this dirt, and I'm going to build a dirt hovel for me to survive the night. Now, we talked about this before we started, and uh, you actually have a different tactic than I do. But the first thing I do is I build, like, just some sort of structure out of dirt. And so we're doing this because, here, look up on the sky real quick. So there is a sun, well, I guess it's being blocked by the by the trees, but, uh, yeah. you know, a sun is going to go across the sky, and there is a day-night cycle, and mm -hmm. at night, that's when the monsters come. Yeah. And so you need to protect yourself. It doesn't need to be fancy, um, you know, just something to stop the skeletons and zombies and, yeah, uh, and you know, other things that go bump in the night. And this is definitely not going to be fancy. <laughs> so... I'm going to go punch that pig. Uh, he'd take forever to kill right now, huh. but uh, let's get some wood. So this is sort of what Minecraft has become known for, is uh, punching trees. That's always the first <laughs> thing you have to do. You don't have any tools, you don't have anything else, and wood is really at the heart of you know everything you do. There's an elaborate crafting tree you can make, you know, these huge uh, structures and tools, but it all comes from sort of the wood that you get from trees. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you're going to want to build is after... You get some wood. And you're you right know. clicking, by the way. I mean, yeah. I guess people so you would just, figure that out right away. You press but. and hold the right trigger or in on the 360, if you were on the 360. Right. We are on PC, so I'm just pressing and holding the, the left mouse button. Correct. Pretty much, yeah. And so crafting is uh, yeah. what? You press E to mm -hmm. get into this. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you, you, the first thing you're going to want to make is these spruce wood planks. Let's and that's really the only thing you can make. And so, you yeah. know, you put stuff in that crafting tray, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the wood blocks created wood planks, basically. Mm -hmm. And now we take those wood planks, and the first thing you always want to make is a crafting table. Right, and that's four wood planks just makes a crafting yeah. table. And we're going to put it in our dirt hovel right away. And there we go. So now we can make bigger things, <laughs> like... This. Right. And so that gives you, you, you know, when you're not near a crafting table, you have a 4x4 four four crafting grid. And when you're at a crafting table, it changes it to 3x3. Three three, and that's how you, what you really need to do to make the tools and make most of the things you're going to use in the game. Yeah. So before we just had the, the few spaces, and now we have a lot more. And we're able to create some sticks. Which sticks are, are important. important. Two planks make sticks. Yeah. And so the position is important, by the way. It's, yeah. uh, you know, everything needs to be, you know, you're sort of uh, placing it on this grid roughly. Uh, 
you know, so that makes a shovel, for example. Mm -hmm. It's roughly in the shape of a shovel. And what yeah. can we do? Maybe a pickaxe. Yeah, and, I'll uh, do a pickaxe for uh, dirt. Do you want to do a, a, a wooden sword, too? Uh, I think I don't have enough to do that right now. Yeah, you do. just do the uh, right there. Yeah. There we go. So we'll do a sword. Yeah. And uh, there's one more thing I like to make, but uh, we'll take care of that in a okay. second. And so, so now... Uh, I'm going to finish my dirt hovel for protection. And, you should uh, use the shovel on the dirt. Oh, yeah, whoops. Get it together. See okay. how much faster that is. And all that does is it, like, dramatically improves your ability to dig Oh, yeah. Dirt. I guess that's the next thing that we should really sort of talk about a little bit, is that's what these tools are really for. Um, you and know, the, necessary. Yeah, the shovel is really just kind of convenient, because you can always dig dirt with your hands, but using a shovel is faster. But you actually need the pickaxe to, um, to, uh, to dig out stone. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we get to that type of... Uh, oh, you spawned right by a cave a little bit. Oh, nice. Well, Down maybe there. not. I don't know. Uh, maybe well, just we'll have to go dig and find out. It's true. But for now, I'm getting my shelter all squared away. There we go. I got my dirt shelter. You don't quite. Can... You can't quite make a door yet. Oh, you're just gonna dig yourself right in. You do yeah. play this differently than me. Yeah. So I dig right in, and I can build stuff here. But let's go check out that uh, that mountain that you were talking about. After we kill the pig for food. Sure. Because it's his survival mode. It's always good to have some food, just in case. He's running. He's run. Oh. He ran through the level. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. Get back here, pig. We need your we need your meat. Yeah. Look how dead he is. Like it's true. <laughs> so you do have that hunger gauge down in the uh, bottom right side of the screen, or you know it's kind of in the center, but the you know the right side of your HUD, and on the left is your health. Um, that hunger gauge does deplete slowly over time, and that's actually something uh, you know Minecraft is a game that's always. I think what people love about it is that it's always changing and evolving, and new things are always being added to it. When I played, when I started playing Minecraft, there was no hunger gauge. You know, it just mm -hmm. didn't exist, and that's now a huge part of the game that's been added. You know, more than a year after after I first played it. Yeah. Oh, look at this. We get coal. This is a lucky find. Right off the bat, coal is really important, and this is why we made the pickaxe because now we're able to actually get it out of the stone. Right. Coal, so, yay. so it's a little dark, but you can see down in the inventory that breaking that uh, coal block gave us one piece of coal. Is mm -hmm. there more in the corner there, I think? Yeah, there might be. Uh, just You trying to reach sky? Yeah, yeah there, there we get go. Get a little light in here. So, no, none. There's no more. But we're going to dig into this a little bit because yeah, it's yeah. a good spot when you find, you know, stone. You're going to want to get at least eight stone, too, um, you know, yeah. in order to make a... Uh, a better pickaxe. A, well, a better pickaxe and, and also a forge. Or the, uh, is it the forge? The oven? Whatever, yeah. you know, people have different names for it, so. A furnace. Furnace, there you go. Yeah. So, here we go, we're getting some stone, we're getting some coal, which is great, because then we can make torches for our dirt hovel. And this is also a good ch time to mention that you'll see a bar on, you know, down in your inventory, and your tools deplete over time. You know, they don't last forever, and uh, the material that they're made out of determines which blocks you can mine. You know, this most basic pickaxe can only mine the stone and uh, the coal, and we'll need a, you know, a fancier pickaxe in order to mine, you know, we might find diamonds or, you know, these other items, and... Uh, but they also are more durable, so the you're already you've actually almost worn out just in that short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Your your wood pickaxe. Yeah, and you know what? Actually, I am gonna move my base of operations over here because that is a much better spot. You like it more? So, yeah. So I'm to move this thing. I put it down, but it doesn't have to stay there. I can just hit it with an object, and uh, it'll break. And then I just pick it up and move it wherever I want. So I still have that as a backup, but I think I'm gonna set up shop over here yeah, it's because fun. you got a little lake. Yeah. I got a little lake, and there's plenty of stone over here, which is always pot good. And, uh, yeah, you know, I can set up my furnace and everything. It's going to be pretty easy to set set up shop here. I see you're more of you're more of like a dwarf player yeah. in Minecraft. <laughs> you you know, we were talking about this before we started recording. You dig into structures. Yeah. And I, you know, I dig out. I'm always, like, you build a little hovel into, like, the side of a mountain on your first night, and I always build, like, a wooden shack on my first night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A wooden shack? I build up, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just dig into whatever because, like, I'm going to build something really fancy later on, so yeah. it's not really necessary. Sure. Now, we were talking about the furnace, and uh, to do that, you need the cobblestone, which is the stone-looking uh, object. Yep. And uh, there you go, furnace. Boom. So, so those are the first two things I always build. You know, I always try to find some coal, or, you know, I make some out of wood if I can't find any, and then I make sure I get a furnace down, and I get a crafting table down. And, uh, yeah. Crafting table furnace yeah and what do you oh. maybe craft yourself a door 
We actually don't need. Ah, no. no. I'm gonna make. I need to make uh, some torches though. You do. Yeah. Uh, and that's where the coal comes in handy. That's why it's so important. That's mm -hmm. why you need it. I'm trying to remember the recipe. Off right the top there. Of my head. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. So there we go. I used up all my stuff though to build this. So I am gonna throw it right here. Is fine. Yeah. And then I can uh, kind of make this my home. Yeah. Let there be light. Mm -hmm. So now, as we discovered before, it was really dark in here, but now we have a torch. So, you know, we have some light. Yep. And so torches, you know, obviously they help you, you know, if you're digging in somewhere, you'll need them because it'll be dark, you know, as you're digging into the mountain. But they also stop, you know, monsters can't spawn anywhere that there's light. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you completely deck out an area in torches and you know it's safe, like no monsters are going to spawn in that area. Yeah. Now, let's see if we have enough to build that door. How you do you do, build you, a door again? You'll need six wooden planks. Um, oh, okay. Oh uh, uh, yeah, and then they go, you know, in two rows of three next okay. to each other. All right. I think I've used up all my wooden oh, planks. Oh yeah, you made too many sticks. Quick. That's okay. Go go punch a tree before it's yeah. time. <laughs> I think we have plenty of time. It's yeah. still pretty bright out. We are at about midday, right? We actually spawned in a really good location. For wood, certainly. Yeah. Kind of. Oh yeah, we didn't make an axe though. Yeah. Oh well. Let's use up my shovel. Yeah. I'm gonna build in. Now that I have the cobblestone, I can build better stuff anyway. So. So there are different biomes. You know, we happen to spawn in somewhere that has these really tall, kind of snowy spruce trees. But you know, we could have been in a desert with cactus. We could have been in a jungle. Um, you know, there's many different ones. Some are flat. Some are hilly. And uh, you know, the nice thing about Minecraft is that it's completely open-ended. You know, you can play for whatever reason you want to play. Some people want to explore. Um, you know, other people want to build. You Ooh, know, it's getting dark fast. Big as structures as they can. Mm -hmm. Yep, sun setting. All right, so we're in here. Yeah, and uh, like you said, just about our different play styles, you know, I I dig into the side of a mountain because... Yep, and now you place those six in two rows of three, and that makes a door. Two rows of three? Yeah. There we go. We got our first door. <coughs> so we showed you recipes for a door, for a crafting table, for a furnace, you know, the basics. And that'll keep you alive. You know, yeah. now, as long as you're in here... Um, you know, you have a bunch of options. You can wait till sunrise. You can just sort of wait it out. Or what I usually like to do that first night is I just dig into the side of the exactly. mountain. Exactly. I dig down. And that's why I set up shop near the stone because stone usually, you know, uh, has better spoils, so to speak. Do you have a specific way that you like to dig down? Like a specific I pattern build that stairs. you use? You build stairs? Yeah. How do you do it? Um... I usually do the same. Uh, sometimes I'll, if, if I manage to collect a lot of extra stone, I might do a shaft and use a ladder. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. But yeah, I like to use stairs. It's it's not the most efficient way. It takes a little bit longer. Um, but usually at that at this point in the game, you need the extra stone anyway. You know, mm -hmm. you're gonna use it to build a house. You're gonna use it to build better tools. So I usually like to get several stacks of stone. Um, you know, while I'm waiting for that first night to end. Yeah. So right now, what I'm doing is, as you can see, I'm building better tools for myself. Right. You're replacing your you know your starting wooden tools with mm -hmm. uh I might with have stone tools. Stuff, yeah, exactly. And uh, that's something that I just like to do. I didn't see cobblestone right away, but now we have cobblestone, so might as well get a few of the necessities out yep. of the way. Yep, and so that allows you to, you know, mine faster. You know, a cobblestone pickaxe will mine through stone, you know, at a slightly faster rate of speed. You know, it also lets you get better resources if you find them. Um, so and it's more durable, so it lasts longer. Yeah, so that was our wooden axe, and uh, here is our cobblestone. Yeah. You know, cobblestone, wood. Yeah, that's actually wood, a really cool thing to show. Um, cobblestone. It makes a huge yeah. difference when you're trying to mine out a huge room or something. It can save you a tremendous amount of time. Like we are right now? Yep. Boom. Just tearing through it. And so... Oop, don't want to do that one. You know, people like Minecraft for a lot of different reasons. You know, it lets them be creative. But I think what, you know, what I like about it most is that you start with literally nothing. You start with just your bare hands. And even after just a few minutes of play, you know, we have a little house, we have all these resources, you know, we have torches and sticks and tools, you know, and we did that in just a few minutes, starting with absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and you might not start out like that as a new player. I mean, it took me a while to, like, figure out how to build everything. And I used the wiki on IGN because yep. we have a lot of the, the necessary recipes. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you need like to know the player. crafting recipes. That's a fair point. But I just like that, you know, you don't start with... Uh, 
you know, they don't give you like a little starter kit to survive with. You know, you start with nothing and you're kind of on your own. And, and that, you know, appeals to my imagination. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, like, I don't really build fancy structures or anything. Like, have you ever done anything like that, Justin? Besides uh, a home, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't get as crazy as some other folks do. You know, I'm not the world's most creative person. But, yeah, I mean, I do sort of all the typical stuff. I built a gigantic tower once. Oh, I see. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> That's I, I, why I put the torch down. Yeah, I was and getting so, excited because I thought we had uh, yeah, a me, rare mineral. Me too. You know, when you get farther away <laughs> from your torch, you know, they only give off, I don't remember exactly how many squares, you know, something like five or six squares of light, and it gets dimmer and dimmer as you go. Um, so you need to keep placing more and more torches. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I build stuff in Minecraft. Uh, you know, some of it is practical. Like, I like to build things to help trap monsters and get their resources. You know, mm -hmm. some of it's just for fun. I built a giant library one time just kind of for kicks. Oh, that's pretty neat. I yeah. think the biggest thing I've ever built is just, like, a really big house. Yeah, that's for sure. It. Like, all out of wood. And, like, I had a ladder, like, stairs like this. But, like... I actually built stairs so you yeah. can just walk up them, um, so stuff like that. The reason it's important to dig down is uh, you can only find better resources as you dig down. Um, you know, the game knows. So first of all, there is a floor and a ceiling. You know, there's a ceiling to how high the world goes, and there's a floor to how low the world goes. And, uh, you know, right in the middle of that is sea level. Yeah. And, uh, you know, certain fancy minerals like, uh, you know, iron and uh, gold and diamond, you know, the stuff that you really, really need to make the advanced tools only spawns at a, at a certain point below sea level yeah and right now we're just looking for uh the basic of basic uh what is it clay you got right away uh we're looking for iron iron yeah so we're just looking to try and find hopefully find some iron yeah. but my so as, as you can see as it gets darker you know our torch light gets dimmer and dimmer mm -hmm. and we'll have to start using another torch and the reason we're making this three wide is just because we are going to use this stone eventually yeah. um you know if we were trying to descend as fast as possible or as efficiently as possible you know we might make a more narrow passage but mm -hmm. you know in the beginning you need quite a bit of stone so yeah well i i can already see that my pickaxes are going so i'm yeah. just collecting it now because i know i'm going to get it later and that's why it was important to make all those sticks. Like, we could stay underground for, you know, not forever. We would eventually need to come up for more wood. Or but food. With all, yeah, and food. Yeah. But with all these sticks and stone, mm -hmm. you know, we could we could stay down here for a very, very long time. You know, we could probably make it all the way to the bedrock if we wanted. Yeah. Um, and eventually, this has been solid stone, but uh, there are underground caves and caverns. Yeah, um, every once in a while you'll pop through and there will be a whole area that's already kind of carved out for you yep. with lots of minerals and, and that's when i mean i liked minecraft right from the start but i didn't get truly hooked on it until i broke into my first underground cavern mm -hmm. and you know then i needed to explore it i didn't know where i was going you know yeah. i was i was using torches to light my way i think this was back when minecraft was very new and there wasn't even like signposts or, or things like that that you could place now so mm -hmm. i had this whole system where you know, two torches meant this was the way out, and one <laughs> torch meant this. You know, nice. I, I had to leave these little signals for myself. And that's when I realized that Minecraft was truly something special, was when, you know, I was exploring this blocky underground cave. <laughs> With all your made-up signs. Yeah. So it's still night outside, and uh, maybe we should show the people, like, what it's like out there and sure. what we're avoiding. Yeah, well, hopefully there's monsters. You know, you don't always, it's never a oh, guarantee be that they're, they're going to spawn. <laughs> You do have a sword, so you can maybe protect yourself if, you know, there's a lone zombie or something. Yeah. So I don't see anybody yet. Yeah, maybe get up on top of a hill. Like, we never actually explored at all. That's one of the first things that I like to do. You know, we kind of killed some time. Oh, oh something just shot me. Oop. So there's a big spider, and I can actually kind of defend myself from it. These guys are actually pretty tough. I don't yeah, like and you're getting experience orbs. You know, you're going to level up here soon. Mm -hmm. um, here, go back outside. I'm scared. No, you'll be <laughs> fine. All right. Um, try to get up on a hill, maybe, and see uh, what we can see. That's, oh. You know, we kill time sort of showing people the basics of Minecraft, but, you know, that first day gives you enough time to kind of do everything that you need. And the f very first thing that I like to do is sort of get on top of a hill and, you know, sort of get the lay of the land. Lay of the land. Mm -hmm. um, I usually like to build my first house at the very, very top of a big hill, too. Oh, oh. there's... Ooh. Is that a creeper? And we have the sound turned down. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, so... Those guys will hiss and kind of yell at you, and they are extremely creepy. They are. There's a tactic to defeating them. If you hit him, if you, oh, he's going to blow oh, up. Oh, he did. So he blew up, and, like, that's why you avoid them, and that's why I'm going back in my dirt hovel. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, 
some people that don't understand why Minecraft is uh, so special, they just see it as kind of this blocky game. Um, you know, it does a lot of really clever stuff that I don't think it always gets credit for. Are you going the right way? I'm lost. Yeah, we are. We instantly <laughs> got lost. Yeah. And one of the clever things that I think this game does that it doesn't get credit for is that each enemy is really distinct from each other. You know, they're all different. They have different strengths and weaknesses. They all act differently. Um, most of the enemies burn up when the sun rises. You know, the skeletons do, the zombies do. You know, they... Oh! We're going to die. Yeah, I think We're I'm going to die. die. We're going to die. So, and that's okay. That was freaky. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We just want to show you kind of some of the basics, how yeah. to build your basic weapons, a basic structure, and don't go and get lost. You should show what happens when you respawn. Okay, so when you respawn, you just kind of come back into the world. It, it sends you back where you started, first of all. This is, you know, you probably can't see because it's dark, but this is the same spot we started the game. Here's my dirt hovel. Yep. So that means my base of operations is right here. And if you run back to where you died, like we were a little bit lost, so maybe we mm -hmm. won't know how to find it. So you're people are shooting at me already, shot by so a skeleton. I'm just going to... So but all the point is, what I'm getting at, is all is not lost if you mm -hmm. die. If you can find the spot where you died and run back to it, then you can get your stuff back. You yeah. know? And if you died by falling in lava or something, then yeah, it's probably gone. But uh, it's usually pretty wise to... You know, stash your stuff in a chest. If you're going in somewhere dangerous, you only lose what's on you. Like, when we died, we came right back to, you know, this spot where we still had our crafting table. We, still... we had that emergency dirt hovel. Right. And so you can build things, you can build storage chests to store, like, your fancy, uh, you know, if you have a diamond sword or something. And if you're going somewhere dangerous, stash that stuff. And then you're not really mm -hmm. in any danger of losing it. Yeah, you always have backups if yep. you make a chest. But anyway, that's the basics of Minecraft. And uh, next time we'll go into some of the more advanced things. We'll actually have a house built. And uh, I'll have some weapons and things to show you uh, what else we've discovered. Yep. And what else you can do in this game. So now if you've watched this, you're no longer a Minecraft noob. You know, you can venture out into the blocky world of Minecraft. And, uh, you know, you'll be a little bit wiser. So for more on Minecraft, be sure to visit IGN.com.